All right, this is a photo of four Wisconsin state lawmakers getting a tour of the so-called Arizona election audit on Saturday. Republican lawmaker tours of the stadium in Maricopa County, where 2.1 million 2020 election ballots are being retallied and examined for signs of fraud, have been a growth industry lately. This photo of the latest group of lawmakers comes courtesy of a One America News correspondent named Christina Bob. One America News is the only so-called news outlet with restrictionless access to the fake Arizona audit, and Christina Bob was kind enough to tweet out this picture. But that's not the most interesting thing about the lawmakers' visit. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reported Saturday that the four Wisconsin lawmakers' trip was paid for by a dark money group called Voices and Votes, the president and CEO of which is, drumroll please, One America News' Christina Bob. So, to recap, the so-called journalist who is not only covering the so-called audit, but has also been fundraising to help pay for it, is also reportedly paying for lawmakers from at least one other state to come and see how it's done so they can replicate it back home. That is what you call nice work, if you can get it. At the same time that these phony election auditors are getting all sorts of help like this, evangelizing their fake cause, the job of real election officials across the country is under attack. In at least three states now, the Secretary of State has either been directly or indirectly threatened or intimidated physically. New laws in Iowa and Florida have been tailor-made to impose huge fines on election officials for incredibly small technical mistakes. Texas is considering measures that would make similar technical errors criminally prosecutable, or put plainly, make jail time or pro, uh, uh, probation the punishment for making a mistake doing your job as an election official. All of this together, the rise of the conspiracy theorists running their own phony audits, the direct physical, legal, and financial threats facing local election officials, all of it together makes it no wonder that states are now having trouble filling election-related jobs. The Associated Press reporting that huge numbers of election officials are either quitting or retiring early all over the country and that there is, quote, no shortage of job openings for local election officials in the key states of Michigan, Pennsylvania, or Wisconsin. So the question is, now that those positions are empty, who's going to fill them? 